Now, game changer is a word that is often overused in the world of YouTube. As you all know, we love a little bit of clickbait to entice you in on a video, and what better word than game changer? But in the case of the Ping G400 Max, which came along about five years ago, I genuinely believe it took forgiveness to a different level and quite legitimately could be called a game changer. So in today's video, I want to answer one very, very simple question. And that is, is this new driver from Ping, the G430 Max, another game changer? in the world of forgiveness, where if this has got as much forgiveness as its predecessors and sounds good and has ball speeds, then this could be a real game changer from Ping. Now I mentioned MOI and the number you're about to see on screen is one that I do not understand at all, but what it represents is just how forgiving a driver is and you compare it to the SFT and the LST and you see that the figure on the max means that it's the most forgiving out of their lineup. And what it represents is it possibly being the most forgiving driver on the marketplace. And that surely is of great interest to most of you average golfers out there. It certainly is to me. Now we can't not discuss in any review just how a club looks and whether or not I like it or not. But before we get to that, I want to applaud Ping on their head cover game because I'm even impressed with just how good that looks. Not only how good it looks, but how it gets on and off the driver head, which can often be a real pain in the backside. Ping, you've done a good job at a head cover, but we all know that it's what lies underneath it is what we are all interested in. Let's talk about shelf appeal very, very briefly. Ping have tweaked the G425 in the fact that it is a more predominantly black and silver uh, driver head, but they've added this tweak of this lime green I think they've done a super job in terms of the way this thing looks. It's almost futuristic, if you like, in terms of what you see from a shelf appeal perspective. There's, uh, there's quite a bit going on, but I really like it. It's not too much that it uh, detracts from uh, visually. It's not, they've not overcomplicated things, but yes, there is a lot of sort of changes in terms of the shape and profile of that, um, of that sole unit. But then when you turn it over, you see that traditional turbulator still sticks around and ping love a turbulator. I'm not so keen in terms of those raised profiles, but they've been around a long time now. So clearly ping feel they're doing a job in terms of performance. But then there's another change in sort of um, the back side of the crown. It's all a matte finish. And I've got to say, I really, really like what they've done. It looks really nice at a dress. It's a slightly elongated crown but the matte finish is something that I have loved over the last few years. And you've probably noticed that both Ping, uh, both Callaway and TaylorMade have gone back to their sort of gloss uh, crown. I'm not sure why they've done that. And I think that this is the best looking crown in terms of that matte finish. Some great scoring line, uh, score lines again in white. And then there's a void in the middle, which allows you to frame the ball really good at address. And then obviously you've got the sliding weight system in that max. That's the heaviest weight. I think it's 25 grams. There's uh, obviously a significant change that you can make in terms of from neutral to a fade and draw bias. And that's a video for another day. Because all I want to know, to be honest with you, from today's video, I want to know, A, have they managed to achieve a better sound and feel because I hated that of the G425. It was just so hard. And obviously then what I want to know is have they made it as forgiving as its predecessor and perhaps even move that bar on a little bit more because if they have, then this is a, uh, this is a real game changer. Enough talking, let's hit a golf ball. Okay, so we've got off to a good start, which is always nice. That ball is traveling. I'm gonna glance down and see what we've got in terms of First ball out there. I mean, the first thing of note, and I think perhaps mentioned before I discussed that number, is I've got a 10 and a half degree head here. Um, we've got a 16 degree launch on the first ball. We've got a 142 ball speed, which is incredible, 27 spin, and a 239 carry. First ball off the club face, impressive set of data, probably launching just a little bit too high and spinning a little bit too high. 
if you've been ultra critical and looking to pick fault in this thing. But don't forget, this setup is very much aimed at the mass market. Reg shaft, 10 and a half degree head, it's aimed at trying to launch the ball and uh, be a, um, a user-friendly setup, I'm gonna say. Let's try one more. Absolutely button that thing. It's still, I mean, it's launching a ball incredibly high, as you can see, 16.4 degrees, even higher launch, lower down on the spin at 2425 and a 242 carry. That's a real good set of numbers. The interesting thing is, I'm hitting to it another ball because I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm liking what I'm getting. I'm gonna talk about the sound and feel very shortly, but this is encouraging. That launch angle of 16 degrees, you know, it's often, if we looked at the kind of like the guidelines in terms of where you want to be, I would say that that would probably criticise as being too high. But there's nothing more pleasing than seeing you launch a ball into absolute orbit and it's still being carried on going forward because high launch and not too high of a spin number is producing a good number and 242 carry, that's decent. Right, one more whilst the camera's on, I think, before I go and collect a whole set of numbers. <laughs> I mean, it's almost like hitting something like a five wood in terms of where it's going to, in terms of up in the air. Okay, so slightly lower, 14.8 launch, 2424 spin, almost identical in its spin number. 240 carry that's an incredible first three shots with the ping g425 we've got 239 240 240 nothing to split them in terms of yardage covered spinning at an okay number i would say a controllable number launching perhaps a tad too high what about that sound and feel now if i was anybody who had a slight amount of animation about their face when things were going well or bad for that matter, I stay fairly constant. I'd be probably doing a few cartwheels right now. My face would be smiling. I would be doing a bit of a uh, woo woo or something similar. The basis is Ping have finally, finally achieved something which I never thought possible. They've changed the sound of their drivers. Hallelujah is all I can say because this is so much better on the ear and that's inside where acoustics are a bit sharp when you're hitting out of here so it'll be a lot better gain out on the fairway but I cannot tell you how happy I am that Ping have addressed that situation. I tried some fairway wood the other day when again there was a noticeable change in acoustics and thank God they've carried that through into the driver. One of the best things I've been able to report in the whole time that I've been doing YouTube videos. Ping, thank God for that. I applaud you. I can stop whinging about the way your drivers sound so hard off the face. Well done. Right, that is 10 balls hit, I think. What I wanna know is just how consistent they were, how forgiving is this G430 driver, and is it, in fact, a game changer from Ping or just another driver? Time for an assessment. Well, I think let's just get straight stuck into numbers because um, whilst I get my breath back, we'll go through them together. I can report that my 
My feelings were that it performed very, very consistently. And uh, just a quick glance at the numbers. First thing to look at is uh, that ball speed column. Um, 138 to 142, but very, very consistent across 10 shots. You'll also see the launch angle as an average of 16 degrees. And as I said, it continually just launched the ball incredibly high. Whilst you could criticize, like I've already said in the video, maybe a bit too high in my case there today, I think that should be taken as a real positive because that's gonna help you loads if you're struggling in terms of generating club head speed. And if that's what's happening in terms of launch angle with my swing, then I think it's gonna help a lot of golfers and prove to be a really popular element of what this club does. We're setting the neutral position, by the way, in terms of that weighting system throughout. The spin number, were, in my opinion, again, was really, really impressive, 2,444 RPM, which is a real good number, in my opinion, and coupled with the high launch, I would probably have been expecting that spin number to raise quite significantly above into the sort of three, three and a half thousand revs. And it doesn't do that. It remains, again, very consistent. And I love what they've done there in terms of making it such a, uh, you know, like I said, a consistent number. Um, we don't really want to talk about peak height. That average carry 239, um, longest ball being 246 shortest ball being 233. Again, I'd take that all day long. For me, it's all about consistency in terms of numbers, and that's what they've done incredibly well. I just cannot um, pick fault. Really impressed just overall with the performance of that G430. I can't tell you how uh, consistent it was, and I think, like I said, that if you were looking at it from an individual perspective, maybe we would... Um, look to put the nine degree head in, which would have, an, you would think, an immediate impact in terms of launch and change things a little there. Um, maybe bring that spin number down a tad, but I think all those things are where you're really looking to optimize when you're at the top of your game, what potential you can get out of your driver. I'm more interested in what I can get out of my driver when I rock up on a Saturday morning, I've had no warm up, I just wanna put a, you know, the first few swings of the day are probably at 70, 75%. And I know I've got a driver that's going to help me get the ball up and out there and find fairways. And I think that's what that setup does, irrelevant to what those numbers say. I think it was incredibly impressive. Is it a game changer? I'm not going to go that far. What I'm going to say is that this is going to be a hugely popular driver, as is it every time Ping release one of their G drivers out there and this is no different. I personally think it's the best driver that Ping have put out there so far. Game changer, maybe a bit too far. Best Ping they've done without a shadow of a doubt, in my opinion. Absolutely love it. The question mark is gonna be, I would love to try that in a head-to-head -head against Stealth, perhaps Stealth 2, and just see who comes out on top. So maybe that's the next video to be done. Right, as ever, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, let me know what your thoughts and feedback are on the Ping G430 driver and I will see you all very soon.